go, let's go. I might let it get better. Yeah, baby. Here we go, here we go, here we go. During camp, there are many decisions that need to be made. However, the biggest decision of Rantoul has nothing to do with X's and O's. When you walk between the hotel and the place we meet, there's an important decision that has to be made. Are you a hill guy or a stair guy? I'm definitely a hill guy because it's quicker. You just walk down the hill, get to your room, get a quick nap before practice. Personally, I'm a stair guy. Uh, when I walk up, I like to skip the stairs. I feel like I take less steps. Uh, in the hill, I'm always afraid I'm gonna slip. The grass around it is uh, you know, kind of dry and I never want to you know, be that guy who falls right next to the stairs. I am most definitely a hill guy. The hill is perfect. First of all, the steps, you know, sometimes your legs are a little tight. You don't really want to get it up on the step. The stairs, just because uh, I feel personally that you get more accomplished in every step as you climb higher. You get a farther distance so that you can get to your destination quicker. Definitely a hill guy. Um, I hit the stairs. Definitely a hill guy. As you can see, the hill definitely has a, a, a straight slope going up instead of the stairs and there's no possibility of falling down unless you like rolling down hills. Tomorrow night, the Eli and I are scheduled to scrimmage at Grand Tool Township High School. Today, they will take the opportunity to focus on the phase that has been known to win or lose games. Come on, come on. Inside that, Tyler! A couple nights ago we had rubes for dinner and that's always usually a fan favorite around here but right now I'm going to take you in to probably the most favorite meal of training camp with the Illini so come follow me. As you can see there's nobody in here. One of the perks of being last to come through is you don't got to wait on anybody else. A lot of guys they try to decide on what they want if they want just a crab legs, just a shrimp, just a steak. Me being an offensive lineman, you know, I've got a heavy appetite. I'm a surf and turf kind of guy. So I'm gonna get a whole bunch of crab legs and some steak. This is, I'm crazy like that. There's about to be some work done. Big Larry. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. See, offensive linemen, see, they think they can eat. But my man Larry right here, he probably got about 30 king crabs on his, <laughs> on his plate right now. He's just going to town. He's like, you going on for seconds? Um, I'm on like fifths. There's four plates in here. I want you to get down, see if you can count that. Four plates. My man Larry's got in here of crabs. Tonight is the first full scrimmage of the fall for the Illini. It's also the first measuring stick for players and coaches to see where the team is at this early point in the season. And uh, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Rantoul High School for the annual scrimmage for the University of Illinois football team as they gear up for the now 2011 football season. It's been a, a stormy night, of course, so far, late afternoon in Champaign County. Guys really look forward to that scrimmage at Rantoul High School. Uh, we get a lot of fans out there. 
you know, in a high school stadium uh, in front of a bunch of Illini fans, and they come out and show their support. And you know, it's usually pretty, uh, pretty energetic practice. Well, that's another thing where we get to bring the community out, just get some excitement going for the season. It's a big scrimmage. You know? Our coaches, it's a huge tool for them to evaluate us as players to see where we're at. It's really our first chance to, you know, compete in the scrimmage atmosphere, uh, and, and it's fun. We want to kind of get a feel exactly where you are. And, you know, obviously, the things that you have to be able to maybe catch up on, and it gives the young guys in particular an opportunity to, to see them in live contact, live, live game situations. You try to try to get the coaches off the field and let the guys play, and uh, it's kind of a you know it's a measuring stick or a barometer maybe to, to see exactly where you are. We call it showtime, you know, in the, in the wide receiver room, like game day when the lights come on, that's your time to, you know, shine. It gives you a little taste of what Saturday is going to be like. Jay Prosh and Jason Ford, and the give is going to be up to Ford across the 40, 45, 50. Ford carrying tacklers, and there is no time being kept, no score being kept. We'll keep it unofficially, though, as Shealhouse takes the snap from the 30. Back to pass, throws it left side, caught by Darius Malines. Inside the 20, slips a tackle at the 15, pull down inside the 10. First and goal inside the 10 for the number one offense. Give to Jason Ford around the left end. Down inside the five, close to the goal line. I think he's in. The Illini players signal he's in, and it is a touchdown. Third down and seven from the 37-yard line. The rush is on. Osei is touched and knocked to the ground with a nice little hello there from Jonathan Brown. Second down and eight for the number one offense. Now going from west to east to give to Jason Ford. Looking for running room, cannot slip a tackle. Thrown back, good job by the number two defense. The Fighting Illini planned to hold a two hour scrimmage. Mother Nature had other plans. After just 15 plays, thunderstorms in the area would delay the scrimmage until 3 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. the first week of Camp Rantoul in the books, what will the Illini accomplish in the remaining week? You know, it's not imperative that we get everything in this week because we still have another week of camp when we get back, but uh, you know, this is where you have no, uh, you know, there's no other uh, things to, to, to you know, bother you or other things that they got to think about. So uh, it's important that we get as much done this week as we possibly can.